Hello everybody. In this video, I want to demonstrate how you can push notifications from Akumatica to some third-party services. And imagine following scenario. You have your Akumatica running, there are some changes happening there, and you want once something changed to send notification to some, let's say, Android application or iOS application, how you can achieve it. In order to demonstrate this, I created two, I basically created one Windows Forms application, which uh, through push notifications mechanism is uh, subscribed on changes of sales orders screen. So you see, I executed two of the same instances of Windows Forms application, but it could be as I mentioned already, Android uh, applications or Windows service or some Linux service, whatever. And customer changes something in sales order. For example, type here some number, he clicks on save. And take a note that we have two notifications like one Windows Forms application and another Windows Forms application and they receive some notification like this is notification for one application, this is notification for, sec for second one and we have before update, before update, like what value was before and once I click on OK, this is what I'm getting and the same happens with second application, yeah. So how you can achieve this functionality and how can you notify Akumatica how, to, how it is possible. If you need this, first of all, in your Akumatica, you will need to modify app settings uh, web config section. You will need to create this key, which says that you want to enable push notifications and set its value to true. By default, it is not included. Uh, by default, its value is false. And if you use Akumatica Cloud, then you will need to open support case with Akumatica and ask them to introduce this key change. Next step, which will be necessary for you to accomplish, will be creation of generic inquiry. And let me demonstrate how this pretty simple generic inquiry look like. Here it is. It has nothing special. Yeah. Basically, like I just use generic inquiry. I'm using as order. It doesn't have any relations, but in case of need, you can add them. But basically, this is generic inquiry, which uh, tracks or which shows values of those columns, status, order number, hold, and so on. And uh, then next step would be after creation of generic inquiry is creation of push notifications. So let's go to push notifications. Push notifications. And here I have created test notification. I set here checkbox is active and uh, what I everything that I did basically I type name destination type I used signal R hub yeah and here I selected my generic inquiry which was created before so that next step would be at push notifications to check and after that, you can create Windows Forms application and that Windows Forms application, like this is in scope of C-sharp only, you will need to have class notification result. That's step number one. Yeah. And then kind of simple logic for running buttons, yeah, like for start and for stop, like for subscribing different events. Here you see there is a simple authorization mechanism which you can use. You know, the only way you need 
like to pay attention how you will secure password inside of your application. Uh, then some kind of logic like what to do when you have uh, received notification. And what is kind of interesting uh, is uh, how, uh, like what kind of data you will receive. You will receive serialized objects uh, before update was executed and after update was executed. And kind of similar logic is executed for deletion of record. So additional details and uh, how you can do it by yourself, feel free to investigate uh, source code and article and feel free to reach to me for additional questions.